first of all, uh, I would like to, to let you know that we observe that there is a real need of tools and methodologies for the coordinate use of these local flexibility resources in the distribution system. And my PhD was about uh, some of these tools for short-term local GSO risk management. And thus, I proposed some solutions to help the DSOs for short-term local risk management and contingency analysis, which are compatible with the existing market process. Thank you. But also some solution to increase the distribution network performance. And all the flexibility offers that I'm uh, considering are short-term operational planning uh, flexibility, so it's the remaining flexibility offers which are still available 15 minutes before the delivery time. And the, um, in order to create this kind of solution, I develop an optimization method which we're aiming to minimize the total cost of flexibility activation while uh, giving some services to the DSO. And this objective function is quite difficult to solve because uh, there are lots of variables and the problem is uh, combinatorial. So in order to integrate this optimization inside the field, so inside the RTU which are deployed, uh, we need some methods that require less computational needs and that's why uh, I also develop some methods which are simpler because they are heuristic and which are based on cost or on the efficiency of the flexibility offers. And the advantage of these simple methods is that, is that there, there are few computational um, requiring and they are very straightforward. Uh, but the, pro the problem is that the global optimal solution is not guaranteed, so we cannot ensure that the solution that we found is the best one for the grid. But we know that it's a good solution, at least. And with the methods that are more complex and which require more um, mathematical needs, we are sure that the global optimal solution is found, and so we are sure that we, we have the best solution. And what I did during my PhD is that I compare these different methods to identify the drawbacks of the simple methods and to try to make it best, the best as possible. Um, I have also developed a method which permits to aggregate the flexibilities that are in LV level and to put them in the MV level. So I can use them in the MV level as it, were, as it is uh, MV flexibility. And to do so, um, I just um, consider the, the LV networks which are connected to the MV nodes and I try to identify the MV admissible voltage range um, which can um, ensure that the LV voltage limits will be still uh, acceptable. So in fact, I'm just focusing on the LV network, trying to know the limits of this LV network and, uh, and putting it back in the MV level. So this is uh, one of the solutions that I create during my PhD. It's quite maybe complex, but uh, I think it's interesting for the distribution system operators. So as you see here, the admissible voltage limits is changing, and so we are not uh, anymore at the, the um, conventional limits. <coughs> and finally, I also create some methods for increasing the MV network performance because we know that the French technical losses uh, in uh, 2015 were about uh, um, 23 terawatt hour in the distribution network, so it's quite a lot. And so I create a method which consider different flexibility resources, such as the flexibility of the grid, 
uh, with uh, the OLTC transformer, the capacitor bunks, the reconfiguration, but also the flexibility from the MVN users. And I create new methodologies for uh, local constraint management and uh, network efficiency improvement. And to do so, the area sh which should be considered is the biggest one, which we called in the DREAM project the distribution network optimization cell, so the, the DNO cell, uh, which is the, um, the biggest area um, which uh, will uh, permit us to guarantee the global <laughs> optimal solution uh, for this problem. Thank you, Tayeb. Uh, so thank you very much. So now we understand that we can really play with flexibility. Yes. We can pick, we can integrate, we can aggregate. So we have aggregators, commercial players, they can play with it. Yes. And they can really go in the market and make some business out of it. Yes. Is it right? It's right. This, 